Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, The Life Engineers. Today, we are building a something really cool, a dynamic time and date display. This project combines a sleek animated background with a digital clock and also a calendar that updates in real time. To begin with the project, first we will create index.html, style.css and script.js file inside our directory. Then in the HTML file, we will give exclamation mark and we will create the general structure of the HTML file and I'll edit the title as my channel name. Then we will create one div with the class name of background animation. Outside of this div, we will create one div with the class name of time date container. Inside it, we will again create one div with the time class name of time date box. Then again one div with the class name of digital clock. And inside it, we will give the content inside of a paragraph, hour, colon, minute, colon, and seconds. Then once the digital clock ends, we will again create one div with the class name of calendar display. Inside it, we will create one div with the class name of calendar left. And in the left side, we will give one paragraph tab with the ID of current date. Again, one paragraph with the ID of current month. Then outside it, again one div with the class name of calendar right. Inside it, we will create one paragraph with the ID of current day. Then in the same format, we will create one paragraph with the id of current year now i think this is pretty much about our html structure we are done with our html now we will start the styling so first i will give this general structure and i will link this a style file in our html folder then we will give a style to the body give background of a hex color color of white font size of 14 pixel display flex align item center and justify content also center now the content is in center of the body, height of 100 bh, width of 100%, overflow hidden, and word position of relative. Then we will select the background animation class. We will give position as absolute, top of 0%, left of 0%, width of 100%, height of also 100%, and one background of a linear gradient color. Then background size of 600% and 600% and one animation of gradient animation then second is for the infinite time z index of minus one now we will create my animation with the keyframe and we will say at zero percent the background should be of zero percent at fifty percent at fifty percent the background should be at hundred percent at hundred fifty percent and at hundred percent the background position should be zero percent and fifty percent now we will select this time date container and we will give a styling as display of flex, flex direction of column, align item center and one text align center so that the content will be in center then padding of 30 pixel, border radius of 30 pixel, border of 3 pixel solid rate or anything so that we can see the content and one padding also so 30 pixel padding box and one a box shadow so it will look up better now it is okay now remove our border inside it uh, we'll give one background of a linear gradient color so that the background will be different from the background color and one transition all 0 0.3 second is and also a z index of one so it will be on the top of the background now we'll give one hover effect on the container and we will inside it we'll give a box shadow and transform a scale of 1.05% so when we hover over it it will slightly get a little bigger then we will select the digital clock class and we will give a styling as display flex align item center justify content center font size of 60 pixel font weight of bold color of white and one background color of like that position of padding of 20 pixel and 40 pixel border radius of 15 pixel and one box shadow margin button of 30 pixel and one animation then we will select the paragraph tag inside the digital clock and we will give margin as 0 0.8 pixel transition of transform 0 0.3 second is in out so now it is looking great next we will select the digital clock and paragraph when we hover over it so it will slightly become a little bigger so you can see 
now we will select the all the hour minute and second and we'll give a different color to it so it will look a little better in looking also we will give a1 animation to the blinking and we will add a keyframe to it now we will select the calendar display and we will say display flex align it up center justify content center or rather we will give justify content a space between width of 100 pixel padding of 20 pixel 30 pixel border radius of 20 pixel background of a rgba color and one box arrow also so it is looking great next uh, we will give a styling to the calendar left side and since we will apply the same styling to the calendar right also so we will, we will select the uh, right calendar right class also and we will say display flex flex direction of column align it up of center justify content center and color of white then we will select the calendar left side and we will say width of 40 percent the same goes for calendar right width of 40 percent 45 percent then we will select the current date and we will say since it is a id so select dot into has font size of 80 pixel font weight of bold and the color of uh, different color than the background and one color also then we will select the current month id we will say font size of 40 pixel font weight of 600 or bold you can give also so it is also looking uh, so actually the current year will be same as this so let me change the id of this also okay give a hashtag also so we will select the id and uh, then we will select uh, current day and uh, we will give a styling of font size of 34 pixel font weight of 600 letter spacing of one pixel but it is not so actually let's increase the font size so it is 40 pixel and uh, now select the current month id and give color of different color the same goes for current year also change the color of background now add a keyframe to it and uh, that's it for the styling we are completely done with the styling so let's make this calendar and clock functional with javascript so first link the javascript file using the script and inside it src so let's select all the classes and id so first we will use const date element is equal to document dot get element by id and we will give inside it the id similarly we will say const day element is equal to document dot get element and inside it we will give this id in the same way we will select the const month element is equal to document dot get element by id and inside it we will give this current month the same we will do for the year element also and inside it we will say, change the id as current year this one and now we will also choose the second hour and minute so we will say const hour element is equal to document dot get element by id and hour and similar for minute and second also now we will create one array of days and one array of month so let me finish it off quickly then i'll come back again So we have done it. Now we will create one function with the name of update clock and calendar. Inside it, we will create a new object. Now is equal to new date. It will give the date. First, let me log it to the console so that we can see it is giving the correct time. Call this function and here you can see that it is running correctly. So remove this log. And now we'll use this to our advantage to build this functional. First, we will take this our element and inside it we will say our element of text content is equal to 
now dot get hours but instead of simply giving now dot get hours we will say a string now dot get hours dot pad string two comma and inside of a string zero that means if the number is starting only of single digit it will add zero automatically in the beginning same we will do for the minute and second also and we will change the accordingly then we will start giving functionality to the clock we will say date element dot text content is equal to similar way string now dot get dot pad star two and zero same. next we will say day element dot text content is equal to the array which we have created for day that is weekdays and inside it now dot get day same for the month element also month element dot text content is equal to month names inside it now dot get month so you can see everything is correct but one more thing is remaining that is year element so year element dot text content is equal to now dot get full year so this everything is correct but you can see that it is not changing means the time is not updating so we will use one set interval function and inside it we will give our functional name and we will say update it every second or every 1000 second now as you can see the clock updates every second and the calendar reflects the correct date the background animation adds that extra flair making it a perfect addition to any web project so that's right we have built a beautiful dynamic time and date display with real-time updates and a modern aesthetic. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment below with your thoughts. Thanks for coding along and I will see you in the next video. Till then, happy coding.